Hi, so today I'm here with Karis. Hi. She's English, so we have to do an American versus British slang. The rules. The rules are we're gonna go back and forth and guess what each other's slang means from each country. So if something is a dog's box, what does that mean? Um, this this thing is a dog's box. Yeah, that means like something is terrible that like, oh man, the dog's bollocks, like, oh, yeah, you'd, chip to cheerio. You'd think so, <laughs> you'd, you'd think it was something bad, um, but it actually means something's like really good, like great is the dog's bollocks, it's like the best, the absolute best. You drive on the wrong side of the road and your slang is backwards. We don't drive on the wrong side of the road. Mine is, if I can open my phone, is what does it mean to put up your dukes? To put up your dukes. Like the Dukes of Hazard. Yes. Like, um, like Dukes is in Duke and Duchess, so they're important. Therefore, you put up like the important person in front of you, and like, like have yeah, them. have them. <laughs> no, it means like to get ready to fight. Like, put up your Dukes. Yeah, because you're British. That's why we won the war. We know how to fight. To punch. Yes. You just punched everyone. Punched yes. a load of tanks. <laughs> okay, so someone's a load of cobblers. Bad or made up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, basically, it's um, completely made up. It's a load of cobblers. All right, you ready? So, what does it mean to take a rain check? To take a rain check. Well, we have that in the UK, meaning like if you have um, <laughs> if you have a date with someone or like you're planning to meet someone and you're like, oh, sorry, I'm really busy. I'm going to take a rain check. This is my phone. I mean, it's similar as where like if you go to IHOP for free pancake day. They run out of pancakes. We haven't been to IHOP. We haven't. You didn't take me. Well, I'm giving you a rain check because we're not going. <laughs> to take a stay at Her Majesty's Pleasure. To go on a nice vacation? Holiday? Like the Queen's bought you a holiday. Yeah, the Queen <laughs> bought me a cruise. <laughs> and you're gonna go on it. No, it's kind of the opposite. It's like you have to go to prison. Like Her Majesty sends you to prison and you take a stay at Her Majesty's Pleasure. Why does she have pleasure in that? What does it mean to be gussied up? I thought you said gassy then. <laughs> um, so gussied up, anything up, like dolled up or anything means get made up. Like go, ready to go out and look your best, like I do right now. Okay, um, pissing around. Oh, the messing around. Okay, you that's, have that. That's it. Yeah. What does it mean to have a ballpark figure? It's like in the region of, like, um, in ballpark comes from baseball, right? So you have the ballpark, and then if it's in the ballpark, it's in the region of, like, a price in the region of £10,000 or dollars. What is a Mardi Bomb? Like, if I say, you're a, you're a right Mardi Bomb. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, if you say, not, not, not quite. Um, if you say it to a child, oh. like you're, you're, a, stop being a little Mardi Bomb, like. Definitely not stop being a hooker. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Like stop being a brat? Yeah. I found this one, my last one, on the internet, and apparently it comes from Wisconsin. Um, so good luck. It's whooping soccer. Like it sounds like you're beating someone up, like socking them in England. That means if you're socking someone, it means you're beating up and whooping it also is like whipping. Um, so I'm gonna go for like a person who's beating someone up, like a thug. No, it's kind of the exact opposite. It means something is extraordinary and unique and just fantastic. What if it's an extraordinarily unique, fantastic thug? Okay, the <laughs> whooping soccer thug. So we've decided dog biscuit is my punishment. <laughs> um, I only found a bit of one, so. Great, so we'll get jealous. Is that tasty? It tastes like nothing. <laughs> really? That's yeah. disappointing. No, thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye. And Make sure to watch my last video, that'll be on the screen in a second. Ow. <laughs> Where is Sebastian's favorite place on the keyboard? Under the sea. What does Aladdin call his music collection? That jazz mind.